Hello, good evening. Good evening, Francisco. Hello. How are you? Uh, I was asleep. Hello, a new look. Hello, Mauricio. <laughs> new look. <laughs> I decided to put my hair like this. Wow. <laughs> it's hot today. Very hot. Francisco, you were sleeping, you said? I was sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yes. You're tired. Yes. But how do you feel now? Do you feel do you still feel sleepy? Do you want to continue sleeping? <laughs> uh, next. Maybe. Uh, I sleep later? Yeah, you will sleep later. Uh, yeah. More. <laughs> <laughs> you will continue. Me too. I, I have to take a nap. Every day I need to take a nap in the afternoon. <clears throat> I need it, I need it, I need it. Okay, welcome guys. Hello, hello, Carlos, Eunice, Jami, Stephanie. Welcome, 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 guys. Hello. Hi, Carlos. Hi, teacher, how are you? I'm good, a little bit hot. And you, how are you? Uh, I'm fine. Fine. How was your day today at work? Yeah, I'm not tired. I'm tired. <laughs> but you are at home now? Uh, yes. Okay. That's good that you are in your house, just relaxing, chilling. Good, good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. To be outside. When you are not, when you are at work, you want to be at home, and when you are at home, sometimes you want to be at work. <laughs> That's crazy sometimes. Okay, welcome everybody to another class. Today we are going to study modal verbs for request. We already talked about would. Today we are going to study some other, some other modal verbs. Besides, today we are going to have presentations, oral presentations. Yesterday, some of your classmates mentioned some vocabulary related to technology. Today, we are going to continue with this. We're going to continue talking about expressions and words related to technology. But we're gonna do it later on when everybody is here. For the moment, I want to start by looking, by looking at the, at, at the manual um, this, this conversation. Let's take a look at this conversation on page 42 in the manual. Page 42 in the manual. Let's see what we have right here. It says that we have to practice this conversation between Mike and Maria. And then we have to complete an easy activity. Figure it out, complete the sentences, right? But right now, let's practice this conversation. Uh, let's see, let's see. Um, Mauricio, help me to read this conversation. Mauricio, you are the mic. And Stephanie, you are Maria in this moment. Read the conversation for the class, please. Okay. You start, Mauricio. Talk to Mauricio. Hmm. I think he's not there. Oh, yeah. No, I am. I am here. Oh, okay. Sorry. Mike Hernandez, IT department. Hello, Mike. This is Maria Ochoa from accounting. I would like to report a problem with my printer. What is the problem, Ms. Ochoa? It doesn't seem to be working and it's making a strange noise. Is there a message in the control panel? Yes, it says service. Also, there is a red light on the error button. 
I would like you to come soon to check it. I see. I'll be there right away. Thank you very much. Now you help me, Francisco. Francisco Morales en Eunice. You start, Francisco. Okay. Max Hernandez, IT department. Oh, Mike, this is Maria Ochoa from accounting. I would like to report a problem with my printer. What is the problem, Mr. Ochoa? It doesn't seem to be working and it is making a strange noise. Noise. Is, is there a noise in the control panel? Yes, it's a service. Also, there is a red light on the error button. Button. I would like to to come soon to check it. I see. I'll be there right away. Right away. Right away. Yes. Thank you very much. Okay. What is the problem in this conversation? What is the yeah, what is happening? What's the matter? Hmm. What is the problem that Maria is reporting? The printer, uh, Maria is done working and make a strange noise. Okay, it's not working and it's making a strange noise. That's right. Is this a convert? Is this a face-to-face -face conversation? No, she's called. Uh, IT department. She's calling. That's right. Yeah, she's calling to the IT department. Very good. Now, let's complete the sentence. What am I missing in these sentences? Number one and number two. What What is the information? The missing information. I would, I would like to report this issue. Hey, very good. Number one is would. I would like to report. Ending number two. I would like to fix I this. I would like to. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. So the first one is I would like to report. Number two. Wait, let me see, let me see. I would like to fix, fix like this. When you use this auxiliary would, would like, they work together. These two, the modal auxiliary and the verb like to, they work together. And we are going to use this auxiliary to be very polite, to sound really polite. And in other words, would like means want to. Okay, so I would like to report is the same, the same as saying I want to report. Or if I say I would like to fix. You are also you are also saying want to fix. The meaning is basically the same. If we make the translation to Spanish, it's a little bit different because if you say I would like to, what is the meaning of would like to? Do you know? Me gustaría. Very good. Me gustaría. Yes. Yeah. And then want to. What is the meaning of want to? Quiero. Quisiera. Quiero. Quiero. Quisiera. Right? Quiero. Quisiera. So, would like to is similar in meaning to I want to. But if you use would like to, it is more polite. Very polite. I want to report this. Nice. Okay, let me check. And I want, I want to take a look at this. Then if you say I would like to report, then it is more formal more polite, you sound nice. So that would be the difference between would like to and want to, but at the end, the meaning is 
basically the same. This is a model auxiliary that we are going to use to make requests. And that is what we have over here. How to use would like to. Singular and plural. The good thing about would like to is that you are going to use would like to for all subjects. And you don't have to, you don't have to add the letter S. Nope. You don't have to do this or you don't have to add ES, nothing. It is the same. The, uh, the auxiliary would is for all subjects. It doesn't matter if you're using I, you, we, or they. That is the good thing about this auxiliary. Contractions, look at the contraction. I say I would, and then the contraction is, oh, I'd, that would be the contraction, I would, I would, I'd, or you would, the contraction is, you, and so on, right? Or he would, the contraction would be, his. So you can make this contraction when you're talking, or you so sometimes you are going to listen to some people using these contractions, because as you know, contractions in English are very common. So, Look at these examples. Can you help me to read the examples? Eric Quinteros. Here, use would like to. Hello, Eric. Hello, teacher. See? Help me, help me to read this. Use would. Use would. Like say what you want, especially when making of the of the offers and requests. Singular. And in, in singular, she would like to send the reports today. He, I like to meet the new employees tonight. Mm -hmm. In plural. plural. Yeah. They were like plural. They were like to speak to a supervisor. Yeah. We we like to ship this container tomorrow. Thank you very much. He we you they we can make contractions. You just have to write the apostrophe and then the letter D. And that's the contraction of would. When making, we're going to use would like to when making offers and requests. Look, request like, um, I would like you to check this. I would like to help you. I would like to report a problem. If you use this, this auxiliary, as I told you, you are very polite and you are nice. You sound nice when you're talking. I have some other model auxiliaries right here that we can use when we want to make requests. To make requests, when we make a request, we are asking for a favor, right? It's because we need help from someone or we need somebody to help us with something. So let's see. Help me please to read this information. Carlos Alexander. Help me with to read this, please. Okay. Um let's asking for favor. Call is a more formal auxiliary. Can is an informal auxiliary. Continue, Alexander. Cool. Could you check my computer, please? Could you help me write this report, please? Could you buy my lunch, please? I will give you the money later. Thank you very much. Could is an auxiliary, a very formal 
auxiliary that you can use to make requests. In these examples, I have requests like, could you check my computer, please? I'm asking you, please, please help me. I don't know what to do. Could you check my computer, please? You're asking another person to help you and you sound really nice. It's different if you say, check my computer. Hey, Francisco, come here and check my computer. It's different if I say, could you please come here, Francisco, and check my computer? Could you? Could you do it? Do you have time? It's different, right? If I just say, come here and check my computer, it's more like an order. But if I use this auxiliary could, then you sound more polite. The next auxiliary is can. Frida, can you help me to read these examples, please? Yes. Can you check this report, please? Can you help me explain this chart, please? And can I have a copy of that document, please? Thank you very much. Can is another auxiliary that we can use. The difference is that could is more formal than can. And as you can see, I'm using please in most of the questions because if you want to, as I told you, if you want to sound very polite and very nice, then we can use please in the question to sound more, you know, like nicer. Here we have other modal verbs. Modal verbs for requests, asking someone to do something for you or to do something for someone. Stephanie, can you help me to read this information, please? Okay. Um... Modal verbs, request, asking someone to do something for you, someone. Will, uh, polite, mm -hmm. or polite? Polite. Polite. Will you help me clean the house? Will you bring me some more coffee? Cool. Uh, polite. Could you bring me the bill, please? Could I get your phone number? Can less polite can you help me study for my exam can you lend me your textbook will less polite will you answer the phone please will you carry this for me thank you very much could and would are very polite in other words polite means uh, formal, more formal. Less polite means less formal, right? So would and could are very formal and then can and will are, in, let's say informal, but less polite, less polite auxiliaries. Can you help me? Will you answer the phone? Will is an auxiliary that we use to talk about the future, but we can also use the auxiliary will when we make a request. When we need a favor from down one. So maybe you are next to your uh, your sister and you ask your sister, hey, will you will you help me with this, please? Will you carry these bags to the kitchen, for example? So you can use will to make a request when you need a favor from someone. Okay, we're gonna watch a video right now. And in this video, they are going to explain modal verbs again. Modal verbs to make requests. So let's listen. Let's listen to these guys talking about modals for requests. Travel by bus. Learn how to ask for help at a bus station and make other requests. Do you sometimes travel by bus? Learn how to ask for help at a bus station and make other requests using the modal verbs can, could, and would. Listen for these modal verbs in this story. Last week, my friend and I traveled to New York by bus. First, we had to buy bus tickets. Can you please hold my bag while I buy our tickets? Sure. Would you mind telling me how much a bus ticket costs? It's $15. And would you please tell me when the next bus to New York leaves? Certainly, it leaves at three. Could I please have two tickets for the three o'clock bus? Of course. 
We use can, could, and would to make requests. Would and could are more polite than can. We can use both you and I after can and could. Can you help me carry my bags? Could you tell me when the bus will arrive? Can I borrow your bus map? Could I see your ticket? We use you, but not I, after would. Would you show me where the bus station is? Would you mind is even more polite than would. Unlike would, would you mind is followed by a verb in the ing form. Would you mind telling me which bus goes to New York? Click pause and choose the correct sentences. More than one. Okay, so let's see. She mentioned another modal auxiliary or another modal verb that we can use and that one is, would you mind? Would you mind is even, as you can see here, is even more polite than would. What's the difference? That if you use would you mind, you are going to use the ing form of the verb. Like in this example, would you mind telling me? In another example, I can also say, would you mind helping me with this homework? So, would you mind is a more Polite, it's like the most polite modal auxiliary that we can use to make requests or to ask for a favor. But you're going to use the ING here. Look, helping. Would you mind helping me with this homework? Another example could be, would you mind checking this machine for me? I don't know what to do. Would you mind checking this machine for me? So you can use would you mind when you need a favor from someone. In those cases, you're going to use this and you're, but, but the difference is that now you're going to use the ing form of the verb. Helping, checking, coming, um, what else? Supervising, any verb that with the ing form. Let's take a look at some sentences right now. Look at the sentences. It says, choose the correct sentence according to the explanation that the girl just did which expressions are correct can you read number one francisco morales please and tell me is that question correct read number one mm -hmm. yes can i please see your boarding pass is that correct or incorrect uh, is correct. It's correct. Okay. It's correct. I'm gonna write the letter. I'm, I'm gonna write the letter C. Wait. Correct. Number two, Jose Mauricio. Read the request, please, and tell me is that correct or incorrect? Could you please drive me to the airport? Uh it's correct. Correct. Okay. Eunice, what about number three? Eunice? Well, well I play I please use your font. Um is is correct. Is incorrect. Incorrect, okay. Why? Because I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's incorrect because of this. Subject. If, mm -hmm. if you use would, you are going to use would you. Okay. Yeah. If we use this auxiliary, then we are going to use you. If we are making a request, right? If we are making a request. Okay. Number four. Rosa, Rosa Sanchez, number four. Can you read it, please, and say if it's correct or not? Okay, let me ask somebody else. 
Zulma. Zulma López, number four. Okay, uh, would you mind giving me a hand? Is incorrect because a uh, bear uh -huh. um, uh, it, it, como is in R ing form uh -huh. y it should be. It should be. It should be. It should, it should be, be in the base uh, form. Base form in the base form. Yes. Great. Okay. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> it should be in the base form. Number five, Frank Castillo. Hi, teacher. Hello. Uh, could you give me me a ride home? Correct or incorrect? Is correct. Okay, it's correct. And number six, Rebecca. What do you mean? Mean? Mind? Help me move. My help me move into my new home. Mm -hmm. Correct mm, or incorrect? It's correct. It's correct. Teacher. Okay. Yes? Why the number four is incorrect? Would you mind? I think when you use would you mind, is uh -huh. in the ING for the verb. Ah, no. okay. Yeah, it's true. I yeah. am just, I am just, I am just, I am just answering what you tell me. Uh, okay. Yeah, but you, yeah, you mentioned the correct, you mentioned the correct answer. If we use mind, if we use mind, we are going to use the uh, yes, yes, four. Yes. Six in the same. Number six. So Is number correct. Ah, okay. Would you mind helping me? Exactly. Exactly, exactly. So this one is incorrect. Would you mind helping me? Yeah. Uh, right now, I'm just writing what you tell me. If you say it's incorrect, correct, incorrect. I just do what you tell me. But now, let's see. You will see the, You will see which one is correct or incorrect. Sentence is correct. Just going to check the correct ones. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you see? Now we have some checks here. Number one, correct. Number two, correct. Number three, incorrect because you don't use the auxiliar the, the subject i with i if you if you're making a request you use would you would you would you help me with this would you check this for me number four is correct you just mentioned that with mine you use the ing number five number five is incorrect but you tell me why why is incorrect number five could you give me a ride home? Uh -huh. Because he's using the ing form and the verb. What should be the correct question? Could you give me, give me a ride home? Exactly. Could you give me a ride home? And then number six, as you told me, it's incorrect because it should be, would you mind helping, helping me move? Great, great, great. So it is good that you can identify those mistakes. That now to learn more about using modal verbs mm -hmm. to make requests. Okay, so as she was explaining right here, we can use can, will, could, would, and now we have would you mind. These modal verbs are going to help us to make requests. So imagine that the request is that you need help uh, to fix the laptop. This is my problem right now. I need to, I need help. I need help to fix my laptop. What can be the request using can? If you ask, if you if you ask Francisco because he is the expert, what would be the request for Francisco? 
using can. Use a can. You you can use can because it's is you know him. Yeah. So how can you ask Robert? How can you ask Francisco to help you? Uh, Francisco, can you can you help me to fix the laptop? Yes. Can you help? Because me? because it's my friend. Because, because it's your friend. Because my friend. If if I have to ask uh, Peter, I say. <laughs> Uh -huh. <laughs> because Peter is not your friend. <laughs> no, because it's, it's another person. It's like, uh, it's, it's, you know, it's the top. It's your top. Ah, he's the, he's uh, the top. Yes, he's the because he has a lot of money. Uh, he, well, <laughs> oh, I got it. I got we need it. more, yeah, more we need, we need more, more respect of him. For him, okay. So, how you would know? you ask him? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and for his age, too. <laughs> you're bad, you're bad. <laughs> ah, Peter is not here, that's why. <laughs> okay. Uh, will, will you... Will you help... I said, will you help me to fix the laptop? Great. Yes. Will you help me to fix the laptop? Very good. More formal, right? More formal. Yes. <laughs> and then if you want to use it with, with your mind, what would be the question? Uh, would you mind? Anyone? Help me. me. Ah, okay. Would you mind helping me? And then the same thing to fix the laptop. It's the same, right? Here, look at the question. Would you help me to fix the laptop? Could you help me to fix the laptop? The question is the same. The difference is the auxiliary and how formal that auxiliary can be. As Robert was mentioning, if you say can and would, it is less formal or less polite. So I can use it with people I know, right? My friends, my family members. Then if you want to sound more polite, more educated, then you can use could you, would you? And then like really, really formal, maybe, maybe you are talking to someone really important like Peter, then you can say, would you mind? Would you mind? And then the ing form of the verb. Pronunciation. The pronunciation of this auxiliary is could. Like this. Look. Could. So what happens here is that we don't pronounce ro. We don't pronounce the L. Okay. So we don't say could. Could. No. The word is could. Can you repeat that? Could? Say it, guys. Could. 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 Don't say could with L, okay? No. And then could. What about the next one? What, what about the next auxiliary? Could. Wood, very good. Woody. Wood, like Woody, but you don't say D, <laughs> just wood. <laughs> Could and would. Yeah. Those are the auxiliaries. D. Yep. So you just you just go to the letter D. Could and would. Could and would. Would you help me? Could you help me? Would you mind? And sometimes you even you even um you can even omit the sound of the letter D. Could you? Could you? The letter D is very, very, I don't know how, very soft. So you can use these modal auxiliaries. Do you understand this? Do you understand how to make requests using modal auxiliaries or questions? Do you have questions about this? Let me know, let me know right now. 
Is it clear how to use model verbs for requests? I have a question, but it's about uh, another expression, expression mm -hmm. that I read before. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, it's like, uh, would you be so kind? Be kind? Be, uh, como se diga tan amable de? O amablemente... Uh, because I, I have received some, some mails with that, with that price. Oh, okay. Give, give, me, give me a complete example. Would you be so kind? Would you be so kind uh, to send me the list of spare parts, for example? The spare? Parts. Like Are right you? Uh, let me search. Yeah. Oh. The window <laughs> is perfect. Yeah. Okay. 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 So, oh, the, the, this expression is the one that you, you hear or you read it, your email. Uh, I read. Ah, would you be so kind too? Yeah, you seem. They are using the auxiliary would. It's a request, right? It's a request. But, it's, but they are using, you be so kind, como, como se ellas tan amable, ¿verdad? Exactly. Oh, and I reading uh, something that say kindly. Kindly. Kindly, kind, uh -huh. uh, You send me that email, for example. The kind mm -hmm. plus L. Yeah, kindly. And then the request. Yeah, yeah the request. Was, the request was. Like, send me the list of spare parts. Yeah. Okay, great. So in this case, we don't have a modal verb, but they are using this, this word. Mm -hmm. To sound polite. M M kindly, kindly is amablemente. Exactly. Yeah, amablemente. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sí. Um, how, how is, uh, because I just saying what I remember. Right? <laughs> I, I don't remember exactly the, the, the expression. How do you use kindly in, in that, uh, in, in a, well, another example, another example. How do you use that? Hmm, let's see. I'm going to erase this. Going to... Because that right. is very polite, right? Like, yes. Would you mind? Um, would you be so kind? Mm -hmm. They are the same polite. They are polite. Uh -huh. Polite. Uh -huh. All of them are polite. Kindly. Maybe you can say he was. He was. Um, acting so kindly for example or he talked to me he talked to me so oh, oh, kindly with n kind kindly he was he talked to me so kindly kindly is an adverb right and when we use when we use adverbs Adverbs help us to describe the verb. Oh, okay. Describe verbs, right? So I'm not talking about the man. I'm talking about the action. Talked. Mm -hmm. He talked so kindly. Because I can also say that he talked so rude. Mm -hmm. Right? That is the opposite. It's another thing. Huh? Or he talked so loudly. Ah, it's a Zarina. <laughs> right. So these adverbs help you to describe the action. So in this case, kindly, if you if you use kindly in this sentence, we are saying that when he was talking to you, he was like, Oh, it's Sarina, I need your help. Come here, please help me. Check this for me. Like that, right? So you, you are saying that he was talking kindly. Okay. Yeah. And in this one, and in this example that you gave us here, kindly send me the list of spare parts. 
it works well and it sounds really polite because it is different if I say, Cesarina, send me the list by tomorrow. <laughs> sounds different, right? Yeah. Sounds different, uh-huh. It is like, I, I, I am, I don't know, your friend, right? I am your best friend and Cesarina, I need this, send me this list by tomorrow. And you're like, okay, yeah, Jancy is talking to me. I will send this to her tomorrow. But then, if you receive this, this with the the email, with this, busca. if you if you if you use this one, then it sounds more polite. Yeah. Okay. Thank and, you. And in this case, you, I, I, I imagine that you're talking about your boss or supervisor, coordinator. I don't know. No, is someone it's you don't know. It's another technician. Yeah, I, I know him and he's very friendly, but but he is a uh, old people. Uh, una persona mayor. Elderly. Elderly. Elderly person. Yeah. Elderly uh, person. Ah, okay. Yeah. So, so yeah. He's, he's very polite. Yeah, it's very polite, especially in males. In person, it's more relaxed. <laughs> but uh, in males, it's like very, very, very polite. Like letters, very, very formal letters. <laughs> yeah, emails, in emails we have to be like that because those are like the proofs that we yeah. have <laughs> exactly. in, ca in case of a confusion or a problem, right? Yes. Yes, yes, true. It's like I, I have a boss and... She's very nice with me. When we are chatting in WhatsApp, it's like, hi, how are you? And a lot of emojis and stickers. We are, she's my friend. She's my boss, but she's my friend. But when I have to send her an email, then I have to be really, really polite with her. Yeah. Or, or with me, she is like, Jancy, uh, would you mind checking your e uh, checking the platform? I said something, stuff like that, no? Yes. Okay, so thank you, Cesarina. Now we have more expressions. We have more expressions to use to talk about or to make requests. Look, would you be so kind? It's another expression that you can definitely use. And if you don't want to use any of these auxiliaries, you can simply start your sentence by using this word, kindly. So you sound very polite when you're talking to the other person. In all of these examples, we are talking about requests, exception, this. These are not requests, right? He was acting or he talked to me so kindly. These are not requests. These are examples of adverbs, the use of adverbs to describe actions. He was acting kindly. Kindly is describing this action, act, to act. Okay. So I'm going to remove this and I'm going to focus on this request right now let's see let's see let me move on and I'm gonna share with you an exercise online check out great in this exercise that we have on this website I'm gonna share this with you in a minute we have 10 examples of requests but you have to choose the correct sentence so you will see two options three or four options and you have to choose the correct one read read the request and choose the correct request okay the correct sentence or question in this case the request most of them are questions so let me share this with you in the chat and work individually. Right now, work individually, choose the correct answer. And when you finish, let me know here in the chat. Let me know, teacher, I finish. Let's work on this activity. It's really easy, just 10, 10 uh, items. So scroll down, model verbs for request, scroll down and it says model verbs for request, question one of, one of 10 and choose the correct option. When you choose the correct option, 
you click here. It says next. Choose the, the item and then next. Okay, let's do it, please. So when you finish, let me know. The link is here in the chat. Teacher, sorry, where is the link? Here in the chat, but let me let me put it again. Okay. Yeah, yes. There it is. Do you see it now? I can't. No, teacher, could you no, it's not in the chat? Call you, please. Wait, wait. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, sure, sure. Just give me a moment. Ah, I see my mistake. I see my mistake. Sorry. It says enviar todos en sala de espera. Nobody. Okay. <laughs> my mistake. I apologize. Do you see it now? Yes. Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay. Sorry, sorry. My mistake.
Excellent. Most of you finished with this. Great. Help me. Help me to choose the correct ones. Number one, which is the correct modal verb? Which is the correct mod, uh, request? Sorry, no modal verb, but request. Anyone on tier? The second. Read it, please. Call, call you, please. Mm. Call you, please send me the money. Okay, pronunciation, could. Could you? Could you please send me the money? Great. Could you please send me the money? Okay, great. Number two, which is correct? Could you help me? Could you help me? The first one. Yes. Okay, next, what is it? I would like a drink. A drink. Very good. Number four. He would like he a coffee. Like would like a she would like a coffee excellent no s right even though the subject is she in this case you are not going to use the letter s in the verb because of the modal auxiliary number five which is correct would you please will you... bring me my keys bring bring yes bring. very good could you please bring me my keys could you please bring me my case? Yeah. Could please is not correct because of the position of please. That is not the best position. What about number six? Can I have another drink? Okay. Great, great. You start with the auxiliary can. Number seven, which is correct? Can you pass me my pen? my pen? Can you pass me my pen? Okay. Can you pass my pen me? Mm. Mm. Horrible, right? Mm. <laughs> Number eight. <laughs> what is it? Will she please email me later? Very good. Number nine. I would like, I would like to, go. to go to the beach. I would like to go to the beach. I would like to go to the beach. Okay, number one, right? I would to like is not correct. I would like go is not correct because you are missing the preposition to. I would like to. I would like to go to the beach is not correct because you're missing two after go. So the first one is the correct one. And number 10. Could you call me tomorrow, please? Could you call me tomorrow, please? The last one. Yeah. All right. Great. Very good job. View the questions. Look, you answer correctly. Here you have many options because they are showing you the correct position of some words. This is what we call, as teachers, we call this word order. Word order is important in this kind of activities. When you're talking, you will see that everybody talks like the way they want to. They use auxiliaries, they don't use auxiliaries, they use contractions, they don't, uh, they have different pronunciation, different accents. But if you're taking an exam, if you, if you want to take an exam, like the TOEFL, the TOEIC, or exams like that, you need to know this, the word order, the importance of word order. The position of please, could you please email me later? Please, after the subject, before the verb, but you're not gonna say, could please email, or could please she, that's not correct. You're gonna say, could she, could you please? Okay, um, okay. Now, what happens here? Look at this, this example over here. When we say yes to a request, we usually use expressions such as sure, certainly, of course, and no problem. Look at this example. 
would you help me read this? The answer is, of course, I will help you. So you can say, sure, certainly, of course, and no problem. Those are very common expressions that you can use when you have when you want to answer to a request. Here we have more examples. Help me, Frida, to read this. Uh, you are okay. not sharing. Oh, sorry, sorry. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry, guys. Do you see now? Yes. Yeah. Okay, okay. Sorry, sorry. Here. Polite question. Polite. Polite question, polite answer. Will you please explain that again? Yes, sure. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> Would you please explain that again? Yes, of course. Of course. Will you please explain that again? Certainly. Oh, sir. I don't know. Certainly. C certainly. Certainly. Okay. Can you please explain that again? Of course, you'll be glad to. I'm sorry, I don't have time. Thank you. I'd, I'd be glad to. I'd be glad to. Yes. <laughs> yes. I'd is the contraction. Do you remember that this is the contraction for what, Frida? I'd. I'd. No, I. I, I this one. Would. I would. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. yes, yes. I would be glad to. But now you have the contraction, which is I'd. I'd be glad to. Okay, so look, we have, it's the same question, but with different modal verbs, modal auxiliaries. Sorry, I confused modal verbs and modal auxiliaries. Sorry, sorry. Can, you, mm -hmm. can you pronounce sir, certainly, please? Certainly, certainly, certainly. It's like certainly. that. Certainly, like like when you say mountain, yeah. mountain. It's the, the, the same pronunciation. Certainly, certainly. Certain. Thank yes. you. That letter T is not that strong. Okay, but look, the auxiliaries, the modal auxiliaries are different. The question is the same. But look at the answers. It says polite answer. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure about uh-huh as a polite answer. But you can definitely use uh-huh. So you can say yes, sure. Like, would you, like, like Mauricio, she, he, sorry, he just asked, teacher, could you say the pronunciation of this again? Yes, of course. Uh-huh. Right, uh-huh. <laughs> can you imagine if I say that? Uh-huh. <laughs> what are you going to say? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm <very> teaching. <laughs> I'm not gonna ask again. That would be that. That would be your reaction. <laughs> or if I ask, if I ask you, Mauricio, Mauricio, could you please send me your report now? Mm. Uh -huh. Ah, ah, you don't want to continue working here. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, certainly. It, it. Sorry. I'm sorry, I don't have time. <laughs> oh, oh, well, well, you are saying I'm sorry, at least, at uh, least. <laughs> at least. <laughs> at least you say I'm sorry. That is what we have next. When we, look at, look at this case, when we cannot say yes to a request, when the answer is negative, this is what, what we have over here, when the answer is negative. We usually apologize and give an explanation. This is in English and in Spanish too, right? The, the same thing. Would you accept my homework late? No. <laughs> but look at this, what, what she thinks, what she uh, wants to no. say. <laughs> no, what okay. she actually says. And that is cases of the real life. Yes. That the teacher think. <laughs> <laughs> Good to know. Yeah, <laughs> this happens in English. That's why I'm telling you, in English or in Spanish, it happens the same. When somebody says no to your request, you are like, I will never ask this person. I will never ask you for a favor. That is our reaction when the person says no. So what happens? 
we normally apologize like I'm sorry again mm -hmm. and then you can give a short explanation like what, what Frida mentioned here I'm sorry I don't have time I'm sorry I have a mm -hmm. lot I have a lot to do today sorry or in this case I'm sorry I can't I don't accept late homework I this teacher is very strict like when you ask me, teacher, can I give you the homework tomorrow? What is my answer? <laughs> <laughs> now, now we know that what you what what you think are thinking. <laughs> In my mind, I'm like, mm. <laughs> want to say no, want to say no, but I have to say yes. <laughs> so my answer is yes, of course, sure. <laughs> Now we know it. <laughs> but, but this is. But in your mind, teacher? But in my mind, it's like, no, I can't. <laughs> I can't. I can get your homework late. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. No, I'm not like that. I know. I, now, I'm not. now, now I'm not. <laughs> no, no, no. Yo soy la señorita Miel. I am very lovely. <laughs> <laughs> so I normally I normally use expressions like this and these are the expressions that you can use when you make a request certainly I'd be glad to of course no problem sure okay and then if you if it's negative you give a short explanation but first you apologize to sound polite, the same word, polite, educated, nice. You can use this one. So, questions about this or it's clear? If you have questions, let me know because tomorrow is the final, the final exam. <laughs> <laughs> and this is in the final exam. And will you accept the final exam? Would I? Last tomorrow? Oh, the day after tomorrow. Uh, yeah. I'm thinking about that actually. Mm. I'm think I'm think I'm think oh, yeah, I'm thinking about working what? tomorrow, practice these model auxiliaries again, and then maybe you can take the exam on Thursday. Yeah, Thursday. Yes. That's possible. Mm. Yeah. Well, we know what are you thinking? We will see. We will see tomorrow. <laughs> maybe you will have a surprise. <laughs> 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 but yeah yeah the, this is the last topic that we have in the manual however in the manual mm. we just have can could and here we have would would like to let me see here we have a reading we're gonna do it tomorrow we have a complaint letter or a complaint form in this case and here the, this is the last topic in the manual. The auxiliary could and the auxiliary can for requests. And this is what we are studying right now. So I am skipping some, some things, some topics or some pages because I wanted to study these, these auxiliaries. Could, look, the modal verb could is used for polite and formal requests. But I have some, some others here, right? The ones that I show you are would, could, will, can, and I also added would you mind. But in the exam, you are not going to have would you mind, okay? So don't worry about would you mind. But I just mentioned that one, like in the video, just to reinforce that. So um, let me see, it is 9.36 and we have some presentations. We are gonna work in this moment in the oral presentations and tomorrow we continue with this topic. We continue with model auxiliaries. I'm going to stop sharing because I want to listen to you guys explaining the vocabulary about technology and technological issues or problems. Group number two, share with the class your presentation equipment if I remember correctly right 
Oh, okay, teacher. Okay. Alexander is not here. Alexander, Alexander, Carlos, Alexander. No, he's not here. He's, he mentioned he's having problems with the internet. Who are your partners, Eunice? Oh, Francisco, if I remember correctly, Francisco. right? Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. 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 Just you two are only San Francisco, right? Okay, you can start. Eunice, Francisco, hello, hello. Hello, hello, sorry, sorry. Oh, okay. Hello, everyone. We will talk to you about equipment and computer accessories. Um, are there an um, essential part of everyone's day-to-day -day lives and are becoming more important all the time? Mm -hmm. For example, oops. for example, printer. You can use the equipment to produce physical copies of a document. And having a printer at home is a great tool. For example, to print of my dad's homework. For office purpose, I need a printer. If I have trouble with the printer, I can ask for help in the maintenance department. Mm -hmm. yes. um, the, sec the second is a scanner. A scanner is equipment that lets you take a picture of a photo or document and put it on the computer. A uh, scanner is an essential equipment that I usually do work during, during the week. I scan and send via email important document and financial report that my supervisor. And many, many printers include scanners. Mm -hmm. The uh, speaker, the part of the computer that control the, vol the volume. I think, uh, I think speakers are great uh, computer accessory we have to have. I use my speaker from Monday to Friday because I always participate in the business meeting and English class through the Zoom. Okay. Router. And the router is a box lets your computer connect to internet. It's a device that um, allows you to interconnect computers that work within a network. And USB, it is a small tool you can use to save your document. And you can use to save something, for example, document, music, photos, and sometimes I have problem and the USB doesn't work. And continue from Hello everyone, good evening. Uh, the next device is projector. It has the it is a device that is used to project the image of the computer in the large space. Is
it's used, for example, in in the meeting. Mm -hmm. um, next. 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 Next device is electron battery, the part of the computer that stores electricity and provides power. Uh, is very useful when using our laptop oxide the work area. So power the laptop for a long time. The next is a smartphone, a type of cell phone that lets you use the internet, take pictures, play music, and send email. Uh, the smartphone, this device is very important at work. There are people whose work depends on a cell phone. For example, those of the call center area. The next is external disk. It is a device where a lot of information can be stored. Uh, this device is used to store large amounts of information as a backup of a computer or a server. For example, in company, it is very essential to have one to say backups. Uh, in the presentation. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yes. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you so much for sharing this information with the class. I think it's important to know this vocabulary, vocabulary related to technology. In this case, they mention equipment, right? The printer, the external disk that uh, that Francisco mentioned, or the scanner. So we know and we use these words on a normal day, right? So now, you know, then the, this vocabulary in English, not only in Spanish, but in English too. The next group, let's listen to group number three. Hello. Yeah, hello, hello. Hi, hi teacher. Hello. Give me a second. Sure. Yeah, Give no problem. Uh -huh. No problem. Rosa creo que tiene problemas con el micrófono. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Pero ella estaba en nuestro grupo también. Okay. Tengo el grupo 3, ¿verdad? Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. Do you see my my screen? Yeah. Okay. Yes. And, and in my case or our case, uh, we talk about important verbs to talk about computers. And let me see. Uh, type. Uh, type is to enter information via keyboard, examples, type of letters I will use in that document, and what type do I use in this PDF. Um, uh, the type do you letter use suggest is Arial in uh, 14. 14. 14. Okay. Click to use the mouse to select the document or image on the screen. Examples. Click on the icon. Click on the link that I sent to the email. Click on the icon that is in 
the upper corner of the desktop. And Isabel? Hmm. Okay. Scan to put photo and document on the computer using a scanner. Example, number one, this scan is a map a web. Number two, you can scan this document for the meeting. Three, check the email send you a scanned document. Four, scan this document no later, no later today. El otro es true on and a sick on. To activate the computer when you want to use it. Number one, did you to try to turn off and throw back on your computer? Two, turn on the Bluetooth. Three, through turn through on the printer, please. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Can you please, Frida, show us the first one? Type. Can you please type. show? Yeah, type. That one. That one, that one. Okay. If this one, as you mentioned, Frida, is this action or this verb is to talk about entering information, right? Yeah. Right. You're writing. It's another verb. You can say write or type. If we're using a computer or a cell phone, we use type. And type has two meanings. One meaning is to enter information via keyboard. And another one is a synonym of kind. What kind? What type? That would be que tipo de o que clase de, right? So let me see in number one, type. Maybe that one would be type the letters, right? Just to, just to, to. To, to change, okay, type the letters and in number two, hmm, maybe in that case you are using type in a different way, right? What type? What type sería como decir que tipo de? Mm -hmm. Right? But it's fine, okay, porque ese es otro significado de type, que tipo de? And number three, the type to the letter uses. Maybe that one is to type, to type, uh -huh. to type your letter, remove do, no, move, move that, move, remove that, do, do. Uh -huh. do. Yes, remove do. it, do. remove do. <laughs> Yes, okay. eliminate it. Type your, type your letter and use, wait, wait, type your letter, the suggestive, the suggestive, uh, remove use. Uh -huh. Suggested format, maybe. Or, yeah, is Arial 14. Yeah, now yes, now yes. To type your letter, to type your letter. Okay. Now, now it's working as entering information in the computer, right? Okay, thank you. Yes, great, great. Yeah, I just wanted to, I just wanted to confirm the meaning of type in this context. Right now, since we are talking about technology, the meaning of type is to enter information in your computer or in your cell phone by using a keyboard. And a keyboard, if you remember, is this that Frida shows in this photo. This is a keyboard, right? This part of the computer, what we have here. Okay, thank you so much, girls, girls, girls. Thank you, thank you. Okay, thank you. We appreciate it. Amazing, amazing. They show us some verbs. We have scan and scanner. Something important too. The scanner is the equipment 
scanner is the item and the action is scan. That is different, right? It is not possible to say, I scanner some documents. No. The correct sentence would be, like the example they gave, I scan the documents. I need to scan these documents. So it's good to know the difference between a scanner and a scan. Okay, next. What is the next topic? Group number four. Tell us, tell us. We are. Okay, come on, computer problems. Yes, wait. Okay. Ah, no, I got it, I got it. I was trying to remember. I, I told Frida, yo le dije a Frida, formato, right? Format. Pero también podemos decir font, como la fuente, cuando mencionaron Arial 14. Font. Not only format, right? But, but, but font. Okay. Go ahead. Well, good evening, college and teacher. This is the team number four, conformed by Rosa Luz Sanchez and Jose Mauricio, me. We will talk to you about uh, most common problems, computer problems. Rosa Sanchez, start. Okay, uh, there is nothing uh, worse than having a problem with the computer. It can be so stressful. Mm -hmm. Do you know the names of these common problems? <laughs> virus. A virus is a enemy program that infect your computer and stop it from working. People, people who create computer virus are called hackers. Yes. Error message. When you push the wrong button, but sometimes the computer will send you an error message. This means that what you try to do isn't possible. Frozen and freeze. If you try to use too many applications and the same and the same time the computer means become frozen. This this means you you cannot use the mouse or type anything. Everything on the screen is stuck. Well, Another common problem when you use a computer is run out of space. If you don't load too many applications, you might not have enough memory. In this situation, we say that your computer is running out of space, which means there is no memory left. Another big problem is speed water or other drinks. To drop water or another drink by mistake, you should be careful if you drink things while you use the computer. Well, if you have any of these problems, what do you have to do? First of all, call a tech support. He'll, him with, he will uh, teach you how to solve the problem. Mm -hmm. Then it depends on the kind of problem you can call the computer technicians. And if you don't can, can, if you can. resolve the problem, better it is buy a new computer. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Mauricio and Rosa, great job. Thank problems, you. right? Problems. Spill drinks mm. or the coffee. 
that when you used to go to the computer lab when you were in the school, don't bring water, don't bring any drinks to the computer lab. Okay, thank you so much for sharing the different issues that we might have when talking about computers or technological problems. Thank you, thank you. We're gonna listen to the last group. Last one. Let's see, let's see. And the next group is going to talk about Hello, professions related to computers. Hello. <laughs> okay. Okay, professions related to computers. Mm. You can start. <laughs> okay. Um, veamos. Um, um, hello, everybody. Our topic is. Oops. Sorry, 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 okay. sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> Okay. Don't feel nervous, Peter. <laughs> okay. Uh, our topic is profession related to computer. Um, we will explain, uh, we will explain uh, those oh, we, uh, we will explain um, um, which are activities that uh, perform those professional uh, web designer uh, a person who, who creates website and software developer, a person who creates computer application, mm -hmm. um, programmer, a person who designs operating system and faces then when they break, break computer exceptions the name of a person who studies computing, database administrator, a person who manage computing information, um, computing technician, a person who fixes technical problems with the computer and takes support um, the office can, you, can, you call when you have a problem with the computer. Um, Fernando and Moises will be reading the example. Examples. Mm -hmm. Examples. She is a web designer. Her job is to create websites. Fernando is a software developer. He is creating a new application now. Continue El otro compañero. Fernando. Yeah. Hello, Fernando. Maybe you can continue, Moises. No problem. Ah, okay. Yeah. We need a programmer because our opera operating, operating, operating. operating system is damaged. In my office, we have a database administrator who manages computer information, clients' information, customers' information, and other information. Okay. Only. Just that? Just that. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, guys. 
professions related to technology, right? Web designer, software developer, programmer, vocabulary, right? Thank you so much for sharing this information with the class. So today we talk about technology, vocabulary about equipment, uh, professions related to technology, problems related to technology. We talk about modal auxiliaries, would, could, can, will, uh, formal request, informal request. Tomorrow we are going to continue with this topic. And just let me check the attendance real quick. I'm sorry that it, I took... I took more time, sorry, sorry about that. Just let me check the attendance very quickly. Hmm. Wait, wait. Um, here. Sorry, sorry for taking your time. I know you're, you're, you must be tired. Okay, uh, Carlos Alexander, he was here, he was having issues. Eric Quinteros. Present teacher. Eunice Mejia. Present. Francisco Morales. Present teacher. Francisco Castillo. Present teacher. Jani, eh, Frida Janine Mejia. Present. Irene Isabel. Thank you. Present teacher. Jose Fernando de Paz. He's here. Jose Mauricio Cardoza. I am here. Present. Yep. Great. Moises Guzman. Present teacher. Pedro Tobar. Rebeca. Present teacher. Present teacher. Thank you, Peter. Thank you, Rebeca. Roberto Melana. Present. Rosa Luz Castellanos. Eh, she was here too. Ruth Cesarina. She was here too. Stephanie Lisette Quijada. Present. Zulma Yamilet Alvarado. Present. And Zulma Rosaura Lopez. Present. Thank you so much, guys. I hope you have a great night and see you tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye, teacher.